Hello guys, welcome to this new video. This one is a question about inequalities. Uh, but before I do this question, I would like to um, thank the um, students who watch the videos, but also who takes the time to, to comment and to write down any kind of requests or, or questions or mistakes they may have seen in the video. But thank you so much for, for all the support, okay? But at the same time, you know, tomorrow you guys won't have the market schemes. So the thing to understand today is how do I get to the answers? So today when you do revise through the videos, don't focus so much on the answers. Focus on how to get to the answers. Okay, with that being said, let's move on to the question number one. So here we have the x-axis and the y-axis. We have a few lines, as you can see, three lines given to you. Now, in the diagram, the equation of the line through B and C is given to you by this. So B and C is this line. And, and of course, let's write down the equation close to the line so we are not confused when it comes down to the main question. So let's, let's extend that a little bit and label this as 6x plus 7y is equal to 42. And we have the line 3 and B is y is equal to x over 5. Okay, so we have this two line given to us. And also, if you see, this is a vertical line. So this has to be your equation of x equal to 2. Okay, now moving on to part B, part A, sorry. The region inside of the triangle ABC is defined by three inequalities. So one question I get often is, uh, when do I use this or this with equal sign? For example, here, whenever you have to define a region inside of a shape, you don't have to use equal sign, but whenever they don't mention this, then you have to use the equal sign, okay? So one of these inequality is y is more than x over five. So this is the line, x over five, more means above, so that is the first one. Now write down the other two. So as you can see, it has to be below this line. So you write down. So let's make a, a y the subject of formula, you will have 42 minus 6x. So let's write this down this way. So 7y will be less than 42 minus 6x. So whenever you write this, uh, it is always best to make y the subject. Then you can write this down like this, okay? Now another one will be, it will be on the, on the right side of this one. So you will write down x has to be more than 2. So this will be the two inequalities for defining that region A, B, C. Now for part B, uh, this is, it may be confusing, that's the most interesting part of the question. The line y equal to kx passes through the triangle ABC. Okay, so basically we have a line. So y, you have to understand, y equal to kx, it is a straight line, right? So it can be, because if you replace x by 0, y is also zero so it means that it will go through this point right so the line goes through the triangle ABC so it can be here 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 and here so from from this position until all the way till C so first thing we do let's join the point O to the point C because that will be the max it can go and we have this already so this one so this is its region so the line can only be between this that's the line between these two right now the question here is to find the values of k of k and find all the possible integer values of k so what are integers integers are whole numbers given that it is uh, going up so it is it is positive right so k can be so these are the possible values of k we don't know that yet but we list the possible values it can be zero 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and keep going on. So they need to be whole numbers. So we have to choose the values from that list. Okay. Now, when you write down the equation of, let's say I have, I have y equal to mx plus c. Now comparing with my equation, y equal to kx 
plus 0. So k is clearly the gradient of that line. So in short, I have to find the gradient of a line which is in that region, right? So what I can do, what I can do is I can find the maximum gradient or the minimum gradient in that region. So let's find the maximum possible value of k. The max value of k, which is the max gradient, right, is equal to, it will be on this line because that's the line with the most steep. So to find the gradient, we just need to find the first point, which is OO, and this point, C. So what is your point C? C is a point of intersection between this line and this line. So let's find that. So here I have x equal to 2. Replace here, you will have y equal to 42 minus 12 divided by 7. That will be 0, 30 divided by 7. And that should give you about what value. So let's see. So that will be about so um, 7 times 4. That will be 28, 2 remaining over 7. So your point C will be 2 and 4, 7, sorry, 2 over 7. That's your point C. That's what you know right now. But what is the gradient of the line OC? So to find the gradient, the max gradient, we take the height, divide by the base. The height will be 4, 2 over 7, divide by base, which is 2. Or you can use your formula, as you guys know already. You take two points. This is the first point, 0, 0. And the second point, which is 2 and 4, 2 over 7. You do y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 to find the gradient. Or you can just find the, you see you have a right angle triangle. You find the height, you divide by the base. So this answer we don't need it. We don't need it, need it to be exact. Which can see that hey, this is about what value. So this will be thirty over seven divided by two. That will be fifteen over seven. So the value will be about two one over seven. So more than two two. So the max value of k is this one. That's the max value of k. Now what is the minimum value of k? As you can see, by having a line on this one. That will be my minimum value of k, which is my gradient, right? So minimum value of k. Minimum k is minimum gradient. So now, what is your point A? A will be on this line and intersecting this line. So A will be, when x is 2, y will be 2 divided by 5. And that will be 0 0.4. Right, so to find the gradient, height divided by base, or you can use this formula, you will find that it will be 0 0.2. So we conclude that k is between, so we conclude that k can be between, according to my drawing and these two uh, results, the maximum value of k is 2, 1 over 7, and 0 0.2. Okay, that is my conclusion based on my drawing and calculation. But now, as you can see, we have a condition. k can only be a integer. So integer is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, going on. So the first one will not be possible because it has to be more than 0. So 1 is good. It is between those two values. 2 is good. And the rest will be outside. Right. So that's how I get my answers, 1 and 2, from uh, this question from this uh, domain. So I hope that was somewhat helpful that helped you understand what we are looking for in the question and as always if you guys have any other questions let me know and I will get back to you as soon as possible. On this note, thank you for watching. I will see you soon.